<laughs> if your lighting circuit requires more power than a regular mains dimming module, or if you need to ensure a very stable, low-level dimming performance, you should look at 0 to 10 volt dimming. I very often come across 0 to 10 volt dimming on LED pendants, LED strips, and also on regular LED down lighters, as we will see in this video. So, what is 0 to 10 volt dimming? On a lighting control project, you may find that this LED fitting here is a 0 to 10 volt load, which means that this fitting will use a 0 to 10 volt driver. Now, in order to dim this light fitting, a 0 to 10 volt or a 1 to 10 volt driver, as they are very similar, will have to be controlled from a 0 to 10 volt dimmer. This 0 to 10 volt dimmer will provide the main 230 volt feed to power and to switch the driver on and off, and it will also provide a separate low voltage analog signal that will vary between 0 to 10 volt to indicate the requested dimming level. When we have to control that type of load on a Lutron Ratu Select system, we will use this Lutron 0 to 10 volt RF dimming module. So, let's see how to install and wire this dimmer module, and then how to add it to our Lutron Ratu Select system. <laughs> By the way, I'm Xavier, and you're on the Adelux YouTube channel for lighting control and home automation tutorials. I'm also going to present a full lighting control course online on the Home Technology University that has been made especially for electricians and heavy professionals with no lighting control experience. And in those five one-hour sessions, I'll be using my 15 years experience to break down all the basics and principles of lighting control that will allow you to specify, design and install any lighting control system regardless of the brand you decide to use so. If you're up for it, you will find the link on the comment section below. Spaces are limited. The Lutron RF 0 to 10 volt dimming module will allow you to control a single 0 to 10 volt lighting circuit. This Lutron module is of course compatible with Lutron Ratu Select but also with Lutron Radio Rat 2 and Lutron Homeworks. It uses the Lutron patented wireless communication technology called Clear Connect for extra reliable wireless communication with the rest of the Lutron equipment. It controls both 0 to 10 volt and 1 to 10 volt drivers and it can switch a maximum load up to 5 amp. To complete today's demo, I'm not just going to use any kind of 0 to 10 volt light fitting, but a very special 1901 Dawn lighter from Collingwood Lighting. It is a beautiful adjustable Dawn lighter, and this one here comes complete with its own 1 to 10 volt driver. Getting both the lamp and the driver together is great because you don't need to figure out which driver is compatible with your lamp, this saves you a lot of time and ensure final performance. Just so you know, Collingwood Lighting has not sponsored this video, but I use their product quite a bit as they are doing great stuff, but more importantly, they are very cool people to deal with, so if you are looking for light fittings to use on your next project, make sure to check them out. Link in the description on the comment section below. This Lutron 0 to 10 volt dimming module comes ready to be installed with all its cables and Vago connectors. Its shape will allow us to mount it directly onto a junction box through a regular 20 mm knockout opening. And if the opening hasn't got a thread, you can use this conduit nut provided. However, I will not recommend placing this whole module inside the metallic box or inside the light fitting for obvious reason. Once I place the module on its box, I'm going to wire it as shown on the back. The first thing I'm going to do before I start wiring is to completely switch off and isolate my circuit from the main distribution panel in order to be completely safe and secure. Make sure you follow your local electrical regulation as this whole wiring process should only be done by a certified electrician. Now, using this cable here, 
which is my main 230 volt feed coming from my distribution panel, I'm going to connect the live or the phase, as some of us call it, to the Lutron module's brown cable here. Then I'll connect the neutral to the module's neutral blue cable. There we go. As for the earth, I don't really need it here, so I'm just going to isolate it properly and leave it aside. Next, I'm going to wire the Lutron RF module to the driver using this pair of cable here, which will be the main speed that will power and switch the driver on and off. So, I connect the brown to the module's black cable here, which we also call the switch live, and the neutral to the same module's blue neutral cable that we previously used to power the module. That's why the Vago connector on this cable has free position. That is very practical. And at the other end, I will connect the brown cable to the corresponding live input on my driver and the blue one to the neutral. Voila! Next, I'm going to use this pair of cable here for the 0 or 1 to 10 volt signal. Actually, in our case here today, this cooling wood lighting driver is 1 to 10 volt. But because this difference isn't really relevant to what we're doing here today, for ease of use, I will continue to refer to this low voltage dimming signal as 0 to 10 volt. <laughs> okay, so we need to make sure that we got the polarity correct on this one too. I'm going to connect my red cable onto the purple cable of the Lutron module, as this is the plus, and connect my black to the grey cable, as this is the minus. And again, at the driver end, I will connect my red cable into the dim plus input and the black into the dim minus input. There we go. Now I'm going to wire the down lighter. And I must say that cooling wood lighting has made this very easy. With this connector here, that you just need to align, press in and twist to get the fitting quickly secure and connected to its driver. That is very cool. And we have now our Lutron RF 0 to 10 volt dimming module fully wired to the driver and the driver connected to the lamp. That was very easy. As I'm powering back on my equipment, the light fitting will automatically switch on. From the Lutron module itself, I can quickly switch the light on and off using the middle toggle button here. And I can also lower and raise the light using the up and down arrows as you can see here, which is great as this will allow the electrician to quickly test his wiring. Now that I prove that my wiring is correct, let's add this circuit to my existing Ratu Select system. Okay, so I launched the Lutron Ratu Select app and I'm going to add this new 0 to 10 volt dimming circuit to my living room here, for example. So I click on settings here, then add device, select RF and relay module here. At this point, the LED on my Lutron module is going to flash slowly just to show that it is in programming mode. Then, as this is the dimmer version, the app asks me to press and hold on the middle power button here for 10 seconds until the LED on the module flashes quickly. And my light at this point is going to switch off. There we go. The app moves automatically to the next page where I select living room, then next, then select ceiling light and then main, just as an example, and then click next. My light is going to quickly turn on and back off, just to show it has been added. Then I click on the I'm done adding device button and I'm back onto the main screen, where I can find here my new circuit called main light. So to test it, I'm going to simply select it and from here I can switch it on, switch it off or simply use the slider to set it to my desired level. <laughs> And as you can see, the dimming is very nice and smooth all the way through. Very nice. And now I can assign this circuit to any lighting scenes or Lutron Pico 
like any other circuits as I'm doing here. And on this last, relaxed scene of this Lutron Picosin keypad, I'm going to set its level to 1%. Just to show that what I like best with 0 to 10 volt load is that if I've got my circuit off, I can bring the light from off to 1% as it is set on that scene here with no flickering whatsoever and that lighting circuit will remain very stable. And this is because the load doesn't solely rely on the dimming signal for its own power as it is the case with mains dimming load. The separate mains power on the 0 to 10 volt load allows it to remain fully powered and stable when a dimming request is at its lowest, which is great. <laughs> voilà, there you have it. How to wire a Lutron Wireless 0 to 10 volt dimming module and how to add it and program it within your Lutron Ratu Select system. I hope you find this video useful. And if there is any other feature you would like me to cover in the future, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much. Good luck and talk to you again on the next tutorial.